Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Land IT. Today's session I will be talking about dashboard creation and we will be adding our reports which we have created in the last session in this dashboard and we will see how we can create or uh, delete the dashboard or make the copy of the dashboard. Alright, so please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's proceed further for our dashboard creation. So I will type here dashboard. So you can see this is the module through which we can create the dashboard. As soon as I will click on this dashboards, you will see the list of dashboard displaying here. Uh, so you can see these are the multiple dashboards uh, displaying here. So we can click on create dashboard. Alright, so I will uh, type the name my learn IT dashboard. Alright, so you can see uh, I have provided some dashboard name and uh, yeah, so I will click on save. And now you can see the dashboard is created here and one default tab I think it is created. And now I will click on view dashboard so you will move to our view dashboard section and now you can see this is our dashboard currently nothing is added here and you can see we have multiple options new dashboard dashboard properties delete dashboard duplicate dashboard copy dashboard URL and uh, we can like uh, create a favorite and we can create a tab as well on this dashboard and we have refresh option here so we can refresh the dashboard through add widget we can see the reports which we have created in last session so these are all the reports which we have created this is started displaying uh, by default because those are selected as favorite in my report section that's why it is started displaying here all right so other ways like you can click on reports as well and you can see these are the reports which is displaying to me all right so now let's try to create first uh, uh, first we will create we will create a tab all right so you can see we can create multiple tabs here so first tab i will edit and rename the first tab as incidents incident details all right and second i will rename as change request details all right so these are the two tabs Let me re reload it again. Yeah. So I will rename as change request details. So I have added that. Now what I will do is like I will add some report here. So change request report I will add under change request and incident report I will add under incident report. All right, so currently change request details I will add first. So I will add, uh, suppose I will add one of the report initially. So I have added, I will add all the change request and then I will select the layout as well. All right, so this is all open change request and now I will add emergency. And now I will add standard and I will add normal all right so I have added these four reports now 
this UI is like uh, so much of a scrolling is there. So what we can do is like we can add the layout as well. You can see I will use this layout. All right. And you can see our report will display in four uh, divided grid layout. So this is normal change request, standard change request. This will be emergency change request and this is all open change request. So you can see all the details in this tab and in another tab we can add our incident report. So this was our incident report. This report you can see only one report is there. So you can uh, display as it is or you can display or you on your own as well. All right. If there are multiple reports in that case, we are trying to add some layout inside the dashboard so that the look and feel change for the user or for because these dashboards generally is used by managers or delivery managers or leads or higher people higher authority of people are using these dashboards so these dashboards are looking quite good whenever uh, it is utilized on a real time scenario based things all right so now here I have shown how you can create the dashboard and create the tabs inside the dashboard. And now we can copy the dashboard as well using duplicate dashboard button. So as soon as I will click on duplicate dashboard, you can see our uh, copy of dashboard is created and everything is copied with that dashboard. You can see all the reports and incident reports are copied with as it is details whatever present whatever was present in that dashboard all right so this is quite good because what happens is like suppose one person want to use similar dashboard as your managers one so we can directly copy uh, that dashboard so you don't have to do so much of report addition again and again so you can rename the dashboard and then you can do the things according to the customer requirements and now this is the copy of our dashboard and now we can delete this dashboard as well all right so i will try to delete this dashboard see dashboard is deleted and only our this uh, my Learn IT dashboard will present here so you can see this is our original dashboard which we have created earlier all right so this is looking quite good and from here you can select your dashboard list of dashboard whichever you want to select here there are multiple options to refresh the dashboard or reset the filters all right so you can try it all the options from here and you can uh, try to explore more things like existing reports also can be added here you can see there are n number of uh, reports or performance analytics or interactive filters or many things which you can utilize out of the box inside your dashboard all right suppose uh, there are performance analytics here there is interactive uh, filters also and then you can use content block as well so there are multiple options to utilize under this dashboard thing. So report you have access to multiple out of the box report as well. You can add directly those report in your dashboard and utilize those in your dashboard. All right. So this is really cool for the people who wants to track incident change or any table in the system. All right. So this is all about dashboard creation and adding reports in the dashboards all right so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it